Hello friends. Today in this video, we will understand the basic difference between the functions and the formulas. We will also learn that how to use both functions and formulas to find or to calculate some average difference product maximum or minimum numbers of a series in Excel. Here, Formula means a formula is an equation designed by user as per the requirement in Excel. And the definition of function is functions are predefined, inbuilt, or you can say ready-made operations used for call calculations updated by developer. Now you can see three examples of formula. Here I have used the arithmetic operators and the cell references to calculate. But in the other side, I have used the functions, sum, product, and average, which are predefined to get the desired results. Here in arguments, I have used colon also, and we can use comma also. Here colon means A1 to A4, means A1, comma A2, comma A3, and A4. So you can understand that it is easy to write uh, functions. It is easy to use functions in place of formulas. Formulas are little bit bigger and time taking. Functions are little smaller and it takes less time. But we can easily alter our formula, but difficult to alter the function. Now to understand their use, I will take few examples. And I will also uh, share that how can we do addition, multiplication and other calculations using functions and formulas. Now you can see this series. In this series, we will first of all apply formula and then we will apply function. So here I will write is equal to this cell reference that is D. 34. You can see D and this number is 34. Row number is 34. D 34 plus D 35 plus D 36 plus D, D 37 plus D 38. I can write or I can choose the cell reference. When I will press enter, I can get the result. The result is 2000. Now we will use the function. Here, I will just go to home tab. In the home tab, there is editing group. In this group, sigma sign is there. In sigma sign, if we see the drop-down menu, we have different functions. So here, I am going to use the function of sum. So here, you can see equal to sign sum D42, D41. But we don't need that. We need this series. Now you can see D34 to D38. When I will press enter and you can see the answer. So both the answers are same. It means if we use formula or function, we get the same results. Now we will do the multiplication. For multiplication, I will press equal to sign as I am going to perform the formula. So 78 multiplication sign star, then this. We will choose the cell. We will select the cell. We will put the multiplication sign. So 340 F34 to F38. Pressed enter and I got the result. Now I will use the function product. I can write the function product or I can choose it from here. You can see product is not visible. So I will write here product. go so i got the formula of product from here i can write also i need to select the series okay can you see we have got the same results now i will use average so i will write equal to this plus this plus this plus this plus this. So I can do this also or I can select this 2000 because the sum of this is 2000. Here I will add one bracket. I will close the bracket. How many numbers are there? We have five numbers divided by five. Now you can see we have got this average. Now I will calculate the average by using function. So I will go here 
I will select average. I will select my series H34 to H38. Press enter. Now you can see again we have got the same results. Now, now we will divide two numbers by using formula and function. Now I will write equal to sign this number divided by this number. So I have got the output. Now I will apply function equal to IMDIV. So suppose you are not able to remember this function. You can remember I am division. So here I am using this comma this. Now remember that you are not supposed to use slash here for division because in functions we don't use operator. Here we are using only comma. So if I will press enter, you can see I have got the correct result. Now the same is for subtraction. Here I will write equal to this number minus this number C. Now here I want to add one thing. Suppose I will make 300 I, uh, in place of 578. So you can see we have got the answer 0. If I will make it 500, answer is 200. But in case if I use 500 minus 300, I can get the answer. But if I change 500 to 400, the answer is not changed. So that is why we must use cell reference. This number minus this number. So in place of numbers, it is better to use cell reference. Now here I will use a function. I am subtraction. This number, comma, not minus sign, comma, this number. Bracket close, enter. Now you can see we have got the correct results. Now the same way we are going to use maximum number, minimum number and addition. Here to find out maximum, num maximum number, I am going to use the function is equal to max. Max, here I will use the function max. Max. Now you can see maximum number F49 to F54. I just need it to 49 to 54. So you can see this is 1000. If I make it 1872, now the answer has changed. Now we will find out minimum number. We will go to sigma. We will write minimum. Not write. We will just click. So here we will write 54. Enter. So this is 100. Suppose I make it 78, the answer has changed. Now for addition, as I have told you that we have used function, we have used formula, there is a shortcut. Alter plus equal to sign. So J49 to J54C. We have got the correct answer. So now you, we can take the same series and we will try copy. We will paste this series. We will remove this. Now you can see. Alter with equal to sign. Same answer we have received. I hope you have liked the video. If you have liked the video, kindly share my video, like my video and subscribe. Thank you.